Laddus are round sweet treats that are often enjoyed during festivals and celebrations in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and other parts of South Asia. They can be made with different ingredients. There are so many different types of laddus out there. Today we will be making laddus that use healthy and simple ingredients that you might already have in your kitchen. You will also be needing a food processor or blender to make this dessert. You will need 2 cups of unsalted walnuts, 1 cup of whole wheat flour, 2 cups of dates with pits removed, 1 teaspoon ground cardamom, and half a teaspoon of salt, as well as half a cup of grated unsweetened coconut. To start, warm up the pan on medium heat. Once it's hot, add your walnuts. No oil is needed. Mix the walnuts frequently to make sure they don't burn. This step will take 2-3 to three minutes. The walnuts add some plant-based protein, fiber, and healthy fats such as omega-3 to this recipe. Once they are slightly toasted, take them off the heat and set them aside. In the same pan on medium-high heat once again, add your whole wheat flour. Again, no oil is needed for toasting the flour. It's really important to stir it constantly for about 3-5 to five minutes as it can burn really quickly. Whole wheat flour is a better choice than white flour as it's higher in fiber and some vitamins and minerals. Other types of flour that could work well here are oat flour or chickpea flour. You will notice the flour starts to take on a golden color and at this point you can put the flour in a separate bowl and set it aside. Coming back to our walnuts, add them to your blender or food processor and blend them on their own for the first minute or two. Next, add your dates one by one to allow everything to mix. Make sure you've removed the pits from your dates before doing this step. Any types of dates would work well here. Once your dates and walnuts are blended well, add your flour, cardamom, and salt. Your blender might need a little bit of help from you, so feel free to pause and scrape the sides with a spoon a couple of times if that helps to blend everything evenly. If you like, you can also add other spices at this step, such as nutmeg, cinnamon, saffron, or any other spice of your choice. At this point, place the mixture into a bowl and then start to form your 1 inch size balls with your hands. Try to make them as even as you can, but remember they don't have to be perfect. You can roll each laddu into some shredded coconut like I've done here. These laddus can be stored in the fridge for one or two weeks. They can be served at festivals or special events, or you can enjoy them on any regular day as a healthy dessert or snack.